We have some new Wall Street Journal NBC News poll results in. These are national poll results, not from any particular primary state. And the findings are very interesting, and I think there are some takeaways that we can find in the numbers themselves. First of all, they show Ted Cruz rising and slipping just ahead of Donald Trump in these numbers. 28% say nationally they'd support uh, Ted Cruz. This is Republican primary voters. 26% say Donald Trump. 17% say Marco Rubio. I think the absolute numbers are less important because those will slide around over time. I think the trend lines are important, and I think there are three takeaways that I see uh, that are important in these numbers. The first one is that there may be some kind of a Donald Trump slide underway. This is uh, clearly down from where we had him about a month ago. Maybe it has something to do with the controversial debate performance in South Carolina. Maybe not, but there's at least the possibility in these numbers that that slide is there. The second and, and broader reality is that there may be a ceiling on Donald Trump's support. Why do I say that? Because uh, he's not the second choice of a lot of voters. Uh, they tend to, to go, if you ask them what's their second choice, to another candidate. And the number of Republican voters who say they can't see themselves supporting Donald Trump in any condition is rising. Rising, that's a higher number for him than either Marco Rubio or Ted Cruz or even Ben Carson. And third, I think that the opening for Donald Trump is still there and it's still the one that has always been there, which is to say he does best if he can broaden out the definition of who are Republican primary voters. He does best among independent-minded Republicans and among moderate Republicans as opposed to conservatives. So if he can draw more of those people in, these numbers still can shift to his benefit, not just in individual states, but across the country as well.